Uh, we all know the best place to talk is the car. And that is the inspiration for a brand new segment here on Sunrise called KGW Carpool. The premise is really pretty simple. Pile into a news car with a special guest and just let the conversation flow. Riding shotgun with me on this inaugural trip is drag queen extraordinaire Kevin Cook. You know him as Poison Waters, a popular MC at Darcel 15. But I really wanted to go deeper than that and find out what makes Kevin tick and connects him to this community. Before all the wigs and the sequins and the feathers and the heels, Kevin was a kid from Park Rose, black, gay and disadvantaged. Buckle up, you guys. This ride is about to get real. I might be. Why is it that you don't drive? So what is the statute of limitations like for, like, if you might have done something as a teenager you shouldn't have done? I think you've passed it. Okay, because I'm 50. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm, like, here, and I turn like this to get a Dorito in my mouth for my friend, and when I turn my head, I turn my hand. You know, you're not supposed to do that when you drive. They're separate. But when we stopped, we were upside down, oh my facing God. the other direction, in the onion field next to the high school. We were 100% okay. Wow. So is all this the manifestation <laughs> of all the pain and the love and the community and the people who reached out so you could find your true self? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. This also is a result of all those relationships. And you know, like I said, yesterday I turned 50, so many of my friends didn't make it out of their 30s. And it's just like, it's just hard for me to think about that. And I have to feel like, I don't, I don't have what people call survivor's guilt. I, that, I, I don't, I can't wrap my brain around that concept, but I, I just have to, there's, there's a reason I'm still here. So I have to keep doing good and keep doing better and um, keep being open to forgiving people and open to understanding people. What do you right. think the biggest misconception is about drag queens or about you? I can only speak for myself. So uh, the misconception is people think that I want to be a real woman, which um, I don't. I love being Kevin and being a man. and I love getting to put this on and be my theatrical, over-the-top fun self. And then I really love at 12.30 in the morning after Saturday night at Darcell's to take it all off, <laughs> take a shower, and go to bed. Do you know what I'm super duper excited about? Tell me. Working with Multnomah County Libraries. And I read children's books to the children. <laughs> so what, what are two they? to six. They're oh, really they're little. Oh, little tiny. And that, to me, makes it even more special because you know what people say, like, no one's born prejudiced, no one's born homophobic, or no one's born, they, they just, they learn it. And so, to have the opportunity to talk to these little kids, oh my god, they're so cute. What's something that we don't know about Kevin Cook? So, let's I Make see. it good. Oh, make it juicy. Not just like, you know, run of the mill. Make no. it good. Like, I have the ability to turn my brain off to be fearless. That's you know, not and, juicy. That's, I, that's what's not juicy? what I had in mind. But, I'm, but I just think it's so cool that I'm fear. I, I can I can do things that I sh you know if what? I turn if my brain on. If that's your deep dark confession. Okay, let me mm -mm. think of a confession. I want a good well, one. I'm really kind of milk toast. Let me think. I'm a, such a square. Like, a, which a, I kind of love about I you. I know it's Are so you? dumb. Like, Who's I can, rolling their I can, eyes watching this? I can when cast they hear like a sailor, but that is not anything for live television. Give me a moment of. Something to take away from this really nice day that I've spent with you. You know, Brenda, this is for real. Situations, where you are in your life, it may look like one thing, but once you're out of that time, it either wasn't as bad as you thought it was, or it wasn't as good as you thought it was. There's not a finish line. Right, are we done? Are we? Do I get to ride home? Or am I, am I, I'm, just, I'm just walking back to Portland okay. now. I still laugh when I see that. He calls himself in all that milk toast. Right. Yeah, it's impossible. Yeah. Isn't that right? He, he actually said, I look like a gay baked potato. 
<laughs> and I thought, well, you know, that kind of, kind of does. We talked Aww. and we rode around you guys for like three hours. There was so much that we could not fit into that piece. So there is a longer 15 minute version on KGW.com that you can watch right now. And if you do have a suggestion of somebody interesting that you'd like to see featured on KGW Carpool, send us an email to mykgw at kgw.com. I just want to know, as you guys are driving around, I mean, his wig is like dusting the top of the news car. Well, were, were you getting any funny reactions from people? <laughs> yes, we were. Lights? Actually, uh, this is in the online piece. We uh -huh. rolled down the window. We got loopy. We started talking Waving. to people. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> on the streets of that. Portland. Oh, I want to see that And he part. did get some looks. Oh, good. <laughs> All right, Chris, pick it up from there.